Good morning, Britain. Flood alert. Torrential rain overnight brings widespread flooding across large swathes of the country. The Environment Agency has raised the number of flood warnings after some areas were hit with more than three inches of rain in just the past six hours, with river levels continuing to rise. Kate, the rain is falling, and take a look what is happening. Roads are now impassable. This is the M5 near Bristol. Cars and drivers have been stuck in flood water overnight. Breaking news, Sir Keir Starmer has met Donald Trump for the first time. The two men were joined over dinner at Trump Tower by Foreign Secretary David Lammy, who has previously described the former president as a dangerous clown. Prince Harry's not for turning. Uh, Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Boris Johnson reveals how his manly pep talk failed to persuade the Duke to stay in the UK. Against all odds, we meet the man who survived an attack by a hippopotamus, the deadliest large land mammal on the planet, Roland Cherry was dragged to the bottom of a river and then tossed in the air like a ragdoll. He'll be telling us the miraculous tale after eight this morning. Hop royalty, he certainly is. Martin Kemp uh, will be dropping in to reveal all about hosting real royalty. And from Game of Thrones to new ITV drama Joan, we hear from Sophie Turner. Plus, we have an exclusive clip of tonight's My Mum, Your Dad finale. That's all in a double dose of Dickie Arnold. And rain warnings are still in place. However, the rain is clearing with cooler and brighter conditions following in behind. All that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Friday, 27th of September, 2024. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Kate Garraway and Adil Ray. Good morning to you. My goodness me, what a series of stories this Lovely. morning you're waking up to. Flooding is our main story. Now, everyone is being warned to brace themselves for torrential rain, floods and even mini tornadoes as the country suffers a second day of extreme weather.